What are airlines doing to address the increasing threat of turbulence? Airline executives discuss safety procedures for commercial flights due to increasing severe turbulence incidents. Recent headlines have highlighted a rise in incidents of air turbulence, leading to injuries and emergency landings. Despite technological advancements, turbulent air remains a significant risk. Airline executives are cautious, acknowledging the issue but suggesting it may be exaggerated. The recent focus on severe turbulence has prompted airlines to enhance safety measures and adopt advanced technologies for passenger safety and comfort. This was a key topic at the IATA annual general meeting in Dubai, where industry leaders discuss developments and challenges in the airline industry. The Singapore Airlines Flight SQ-321 incident on May 21st highlighted the dangers of severe turbulence, resulting in one passenger death and numerous injuries. The Boeing 777-300ER had to make an emergency landing in Bangkok due to the intense shaking experienced. Over 20 passengers are still undergoing medical treatment in Thailand. This event, along with another turbulence incident on a Qatar Airways flight, has focused attention on turbulence management in the aviation industry. Singapore Airlines has responded by implementing stricter cabin procedures during turbulence, such as pausing meal services and ensuring crew members are seated and secured when the seatbelt sign is on. This is the norm during sustained turbulence in any case. The unpredictability of the one that occurred on Singapore Airlines flight in focus might be harder to mitigate. Other airlines are expected to follow suit in improving safety measures. Climate change is causing increased turbulence, although there is debate surrounding the severity. The number of flights has significantly increased with projections exceeding 39 million this year compared to 20 million in 2000. Willie Walsh from IATA emphasizes the correlation between rising flights and perceived turbulence. Airline leaders discussed the perceived increase in turbulence events at the IATA AGM. The organization's director general mentioned that turbulence is not a new issue and has always been a part of flying. However, the president of Emirates, Sir Tim Clark, noted a rise in turbulence incidents. Emirates is taking a cautious approach by collecting data and utilizing artificial intelligence to improve predictive analytic capabilities for turbulence management. Clark emphasized the challenges of predicting turbulence and the need for better understanding of weather patterns and wind velocity data from jet streams. He reassured that global carriers have tools to reduce turbulence risks. Karsten Spohr, Lufthansa Group CEO and pilot, stressed the importance of using common sense when traveling, comparing wearing a seatbelt in a plane to in a car. Although this sounds good, the similarity is somewhat lower, especially with higher mobility relevant to airplanes than cars. He highlighted the necessity of seatbelts as a safety precaution, mentioning that pilots always wear them in the flight deck. IATA's Turbulence Aware program was highlighted at the AGM in Dubai as a tool to minimize the impact of turbulence. The program collects real-time data from aircraft and shares details with other connected aircraft to warn about turbulence severity. Nick Kareen noted a rise in airline interest in the program due to recent events. Andy Walsh emphasized the importance of tools like Turbulence Aware in enhancing safety and operational efficiency within the aviation industry. Kareen highlighted during the AGM that discussions with multiple airlines have led to increased interest in the program. The goal is to collect turbulence reports from 150 million flights by the end of 2024. Emirates is one of the airlines actively participating in the program, integrating it with their Lido M Pilot navigation solution. This integration allows Emirates to automatically share turbulence data from over 140 aircraft, enhancing safety and efficiency. Additionally, all upcoming aircraft from Emirates, including the Airbus A350 and Boeing models, will be equipped to participate in the program as well. The IATA Turbulence Aware data integrates with Lido M Pilot to provide pilots with up-to-date and detailed information on turbulence, aiding in better decision-making and more efficient navigation. Lufthansa Systems believes this collaboration enhances the value of their product. Emirates Captain Al Hamadi emphasizes the importance of utilizing the latest industry technologies, like Lido M Pilot, to prioritize operational safety, efficiency, and customer comfort during flights. The aviation industry prioritizes safety as it grows and innovates. Collaboration between IATA, airlines, and technology providers is improving turbulence management through enhanced data sharing and safety protocols. This focus on safety aims to make flying a more comfortable experience for passengers who are advised to always fasten their seatbelts, as pilots do in the cockpit.